Okay, the first challenge here, I think, is to be able to interpret that expression and, uh, and make some sense of it. And in order to do that, I think we need to take a step back. Um, if we take a number that, when divided by another number, gives me a remainder, for example, 17, okay, if I divide it by 3, okay, my quotient is 5, okay, 5 times 3 is 15, my remainder is 2, okay, so my quotient is 5 with 2 left over, 5 with a remainder of 2, okay. Um, I can express this uh, as a mixed number, okay, so a whole number, 5, my quotient, and 2, my remainder divided by 3, the original number I divided by, okay? Uh, this could also be expressed as a decimal. This would be 5.66, etc., a periodic or uh, repeating decimal. So, if we go back to our original expression, 42.42 would be the same as writing 42 plus 0.42, okay, which in turn would be the same as writing 42 plus 42 over 100, okay. I can reduce or simplify this fraction, uh, which gives me 42 plus 21 over 50, okay. Uh, this now is very similar to uh, the one given, okay? Only k here has been taken out of brackets, okay? What can I take out of brackets here? Well, 21 and 42. 42 is a multiple of 21. In fact, it's 21 times 2. So if 21 is 3 times 7, 42 is 3 times 14. So I can take 3 out of brackets, okay? So my expression would become 3, 14 plus 7 over 50. At this point it's clear that k equals 3 and m equals 7. So to, to answer the original question, k plus m equals 3 plus 7 equals 10. So the answer is e. Job done. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching.